Well, I'm checking to check it out. So, um, we're going to talk about low hanging fruit, okay? And why we shouldn't always go for the low hanging fruit. Well, well, it's well, it's well known, and it the saying goes, "Don't go for the long, the low hanging fruit." <clears throat> but low hanging fruit can be can encompass a lot of different things in our lives. Okay. Anywhere from our relationships, friendships, work, right? So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Because you know, well, let me just talk about low hanging fruit in general. You know, let me just talk about that. <clears throat> you know, so let's say you got an apple tree, okay? You got some of the apples that are right down the bottom, right? Chances are, the ones that are, that are, that are low hanging. They're the ones what you know. They're the ones that most people are going to probably go up and touch, look at it, see, you know, or brush past, or who knows, more, more, more sort of insects and whatever can get onto it. Okay. Now compare it to, um, compare it to the ones that are a little bit higher. You know, they're probably going to be a little bit more fresher. You know, a little bit more unadulterated, less things around. You know. That kind of thing, you know? Why do you think, why do you think, right, that certain animals like, um, like giraffes, um, elephants, right, they evolved to be that tall and they evolved to have such long trunks. I'm just using two, two animals, for example, now. They evolved because to be able to get the best leaves, the best fruit from higher up on the tree higher up on the plant, whatever you want to call it, right? Because they're the ones who are better, okay? And they're harder to get. And that, you know, and that comes to the saying, that comes to the saying in life where we'd say, um, nothing in life comes easy. There is truth to that. And, you know, there's an analogy there for you, you know? Animals have evolved to get the best quality for fruit and leaves from the from high up on the tree, you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> so, so I said all that to say this now. So, let's just break it down with what I'm talking about. So, let's say for example, friendships. There. Now, how am I going to apply the low hanging fruit um, term to friendships? Well. What's that saying goes, um, good friends are hard to come by, aren't they? Which is damn true. Good friends are hard, are, are hard to come by. But, you know, it's, it's, more, it's pretty easy to go out and um, be amongst certain lower quality people. Certain lower quality people who, who are probably going to be no good for you. Who are probably going to stab you in the back. Probably going to talk behind your, back, behind your back. Have no good morals. That kind of thing, you know. It's easy, it's easy to... It's way easier to surround yourself around those kind of people than it is of people of a higher um, ilk. People who, who got more about them, you know what I mean? Um, you know? Let's apply this logic to another one, relationships. Now, how can we apply a low hanging fruit analogy to a relationship? Well, <clears throat> It can be pretty easy to, um, I don't know, go out and find a woman or a man, whatever. Let's just, let's just keep it simple. I'm a man, so I'm going to talk about a man and a woman. So it's pretty easy for a man to go out and find a low-hanging fruit kind of woman, right? Now, that could be, that, that could be anything from, like, the ugly chick. To the skinny ugly chick, to a, to a mom who's got one or to a single mom who's got one, two, three or four kids, um, to a woman who's got no self esteem, you know, you know, it's easy to go for those kind of, it's it's easier to get those kind of people, you get what I'm saying. But the problem there is that those kind of people are probably not going to be good for you in the long run, all right? So let's just say certain. 
no certain women, certain women are easy to get and i don't necessarily mean you know like i don't, don't necessarily mean like you know fuck them on the first time i don't talk about that just just easy to get you know um chances are there's a reason why they're easy to get the reason why they are love hanging fruit because a lot of these a lot of these kind of people probably, they've got a lot they've got issues they've got mental issues they've got self-esteem issues um they've you know they've got certain personality traits like narcissists and all that. you know those kind of people they're like that's what i'll call low-hanging fruit kind of people right in terms of relationships and those kind of people will will, will bring you nothing but trouble and strife right no matter what they'll, they'll, you know they'll, they'll have a negative impact on your life all right and um you know that's and trust me i've experienced this a, a number of times you know in comparison to other relationships i've had where women, the women have been of a higher ilk of a higher standard and they've been nothing but a pleasure right you know what i'm saying so you might you know so it's all good and right going out and about getting this girl or that girl or dating this girl and that girl but where you know some you know you're either not going to lead to anywhere or if it does later on down the line you're going to find out this person isn't worth isn't worth the fucking isn't worth isn't worth shit at the end of the day because they're not bringing anything to your life apart from trouble and strife and and whatever bullshit whatever bullshit drama comes with that you know baby daddies and all that shit crazy baby dads and whatever right there's people you know who habitual liars compulsive liars narcissists that's they're the they're the low-hanging fruit kind of people you know so that's how we can that's how we can apply it to that you know um also there's another one we can we can apply low-hanging fruit to work to our to our work you know you know um so you know it's pretty it's easy to get it's, it's very easy to get uh certain jobs like i don't know working in a warehouse being a cleaner um whatever whatever those kind you know job to run those kind of things right? it's easy to get into but what what comes with that though what comes with it is probably going to be crap pay you're going to be surrounded by a load of people who you probably don't want to be around, right? Because, you know you know what I mean? Because certain people will go for certain... You'll, you'll find a certain... Usually you'll find certain kind of people in certain job roles. Now, not all of them are bad. Not all of them are pieces of shit. But quite a lot of them are because of the, the nature of the work, right? Um, you know, chances are it's going to be, un, it's going to be un, un, unendurable. It's going to be... Um, unenjoyable it's going to be unfulfilling yeah they're the easy jobs to get into usually all right compared to okay jobs of a higher standard again usually jobs of a higher standard come with um employees and people who are of a higher standard themselves and the pay is probably going to be much better the work environment is going to be a lot better the perks and all that stuff you know what i mean so this is what I'm trying to say. So we can we can employ. Don't go for the long the low hanging fruit into many many different aspects of our lives, all right. And the thing is, um, we, we, a lot of us probably have, have all been there. You know, it's all it's all trial and error. You know, this is what this is what I'm talking about because I've been there and done it. You know. So, what you got to realise from there on in, you've got to take a step back. You've got to, re you've got, you've got to start to really reevaluate your choices in all aspects of your life. As the saying goes, nothing good comes easy. All right? More time, more time than that, nothing good comes easy. 
and, and people that, that 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 saying is there for a reason because it's fucking true, for the most part. You know, unless you like really lucky and, and and a real great job just falls into your lap, that's not the norm, is it? Okay, that's not normal. That, that that's not what normally happens. Okay, you know what I mean. So the way I see it is that the way you know the way the way you got to go about things in life is, from my experience, is that. Am I gonna go for the long, the, the low hanging fruit, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna take a step back, wait, be patient, and see if something better comes along, you know. And who knows how long that might take? Could, you know, it could take months, could might take years. You know what I mean? But um. It's very, like I said, it's very important to, you know, it's, it's always a quick fix to go for the low hanging fruit. So it's, it's always a quick fix, you know. But if you're gonna do something like that, you, you know, just just make sure that it's gonna be on like a temporary basis, not a long term thing. If you're gonna go for a long low low hanging fruit kind of woman, then you should know what you're gonna get. You should know from experience. Well, I do. What you're gonna get it gonna get yourself in for, you're gonna get yourself involved with mentally unstable women. You know, mentally unstable um drama queen, you know, people who are full of drama, you know, those kind of things. If you if you're gonna get yourself into that kind of thing, you know you, you better have a cap on it, you better go in, do what you gotta do. And get out, all right. So, you know, so that that's about it, really. I don't, I don't really want to go too far into it because I pretty much kind of covered what I said. But hopefully, you get what I'm trying to say, the point of what I'm trying to make. You know what I mean? And until you've kind of made those mistakes and um, in life, you, you realize what's going on, and that's what, and then you can talk about. It. This is why I'm talking about it now. I've experienced it all from all different, from all you know, from all three things I mentioned, from relationships to friendships to work, right? I've experienced it all, and guess what? It's never really worked out. It's not worked out. So, and also, you got to make sure you got to look at yourself as well. You got to make you got you got to look at yourself and and assess yourself. Um, be honest. Be objective about yourself. Be self-aware. How would I look to another person? Does that, does that person see me as a uh, as a low-hanging fruit, or do they see me of someone of a high ilk? And that you gotta you gotta you gotta look at yourself in the mirror. You gotta you gotta understand. You gotta you know you gotta take you gotta put yourself in in someone else's shoes. You gotta you gotta look at yourself from the from the outside looking in. You know what I mean? You gotta be a very objective to see how you. How you're perceived by others, and if you can say to yourself, you know what, maybe I am loving your fruit. What can I do to remove myself from that? How can I do? What can I do to upgrade? You know, it could be it could be very simple. It could be something as simple as um, improving yourself as a person, like your personality, your traits. You know, you know. You can't, you know, you can't always change some of your traits and put, you know, because that's inbuilt. But you can always look at some of your flaws, any major flaws, correct them, be a better person, right? And that can, you know, that can, you know, that can put you up there a little bit, you know. Or it could be, you know, you, you might, you might need to get a better kind of job. Um, those kind of things, you know what I mean? You gotta. You gotta look at yourself. You can't just look at the outside. You can't just look at everybody else and say, "Ah, oh, you know, so and so is this and so and so is that, whatever." You can't. You gotta also look at yourself. Hang on a minute. How do I look to other people, right? So if you, if you if you if you've done that, if you've done that and you're doing that, and you and you and you can honestly say that that you're not part of that long that low hanging fruit, then that's cool. 
And then all you gotta do then is, is apply what I'm talking about um, again, again into real life. You know what I mean? And just stay away from low hanging fruit. Simple as that. Like I said, when it comes down to work, friends, and relationships, you know? Because it's never gonna work at any end. And the more you, the more you surround yourself in the low hanging fruit, right? The more, all, all that does is just bring you down. That's what it does. It, it brings you down, you know, onto a lower vibrational state. And that's what you don't want to be at, right? Because there's nothing worse than people trying to mess with your energy. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, so, you know, so certain situations and cer certain situations you just got to leave alone. You just got to see, see for what it is. It's not good. I don't like it. There's nothing I can do about it. So you know what? I'll put it over there. I'm going out, you know. i got to think somewhere else. i got to go elsewhere, you know. That kind of thing, you know. So <clears throat> that's about it. We're going to wrap it up now. So so hopefully people can learn from this anyway. And as the saying goes, um, nothing that comes easy. I forgot what the saying is now. <laughs> what was it? Nothing good. That nothing. Nothing good comes easy. You. You. That's what I mean. Like I said, more times than that, nothing good comes easy. And sometimes you could. Sometimes. Sometimes. You can be fooled. You know. You can be fooled. Because something might appear to be good. But underneath the fucking rotten. Or rotten to the fucking core. You get what I'm saying? So, with that anyway, I'm out until next time. <laughs>